Hi everyone, welcome back to the complete API development course. In this entire course, we will be building complete API from scratch with all those modern technologies which you see in an e-commerce platforms like Amazon, Flipkart and Walmart. Our API will contain all the modern technologies, all the post requests like get, update, patch and many more. We will provide higher security to our user using JWP token, encrypting the passwords and many more. So this API will complete everything which you need to know about developing an API for any kind of applications. So right now, I don't want to extend this intro part and bombarded you with a lot of information and make things complicated. So we're going to navigate this entire project in step by step where we will be working on the update sections, user information section, then post requests throughout this entire project. I have divided this entire project in couple of sections where in the first half of the section we are dealing with the post methods that how we can use the express post method to do the request into the servers like get update and the second part of this tutorial is going to handle error. So when we are requesting any data from our database, we have to handle the request. So sometimes the promise get rejected. So we have to handle that. The third part of the section is going to be about the users and authentications, which you can able to find down the line. So this is how I'm navigating throughout this entire project. So hope you will find a lot of understanding. I try my best to bring things as simple as it is. So you guys will have a proper understanding that how you can design I try my best to explain all the posts methods, whatever code I'm writing in brief. So you will have a better understanding. So with that said, let me give you a quick overview that what are the things, what are the files I have into my Visual Code Studio and then we'll come back to the later. So here you are in my Visual Code Studio and on the right hand side, you can see that I have a couple of folders and a couple of files. So the very first folder I have is this product. Inside the product folder, I have two more folders, which one first one is data and the second one is image. So inside the data folder, I have a couple of files in JSON format. And the first file I have is this product. And this contain all the information about the product, which we are going to add into our product. So here you can see the location that where the product is in which in which warehouse the product is right now the average rating the quality the image and when the product was updated into our database so i have given some hardcore id we're going to remove this with automatic id then we have the name we have the durations and how many products an individual can buy at a time so we have a max group size as well we have a difficulty so this is totally optional which i have included so if you want to do display the difficulty level of each of the product if you have some advanced something like that so you can add this so this is a general model which i have designed for the product and this model is absolutely acceptable for any kind of product you are selling all the things you have to do is to call any specific value which you want to add into a, your website so there is a difficulty then guide price summary descriptions cover image i have the locations so i can display the warehouses that where the product is located when someone get the order and here is the start location so here i have this complete details of the project is about the product and here i have created some review for each of this product so the user will give the comment on the product so all the review I have already created here, we can add the review dynamically as well. Here I have some sample data. So here we have a couple of information. So we're going to use this data while testing our API. So that's why I have created this sample data. So we'll you will find everything about this. Then I have also a JSON file which contain about the in contain the information about the users. So the ID, name, emails, role active photo and the passwords so here i have created almost 20 user for this application so you don't need to worry about these things because i will come back to this later when we working on each of the sections so this is what i have in the data folder inside the image i have the images which i have created for this project and here i have a public folder inside the public folder i have a couple of files and a couple of html template which we have designed for this entire project so here, this is the CSS file, which contain all the files of CSS. Then I have the image folders, all the images, which we are displaying on the product. And here we have the files for the JavaScript, for the header and for the sliders. And here we have the HTML. 
uh, the HTML files like uh, this is the index files and this is the product and this is a shop so let me show you that how this file will look and what we are building and for which website we are building the application so so this is the website for which we are building an API and it's going to be a marketplace so you will find a lot of that how you have to design the data module for the user and for the seller so that's all we're going to cover into this so this is the website as you can see we have already designed this one it's fully functional right this moment so all this product we have we have now this over effect so this is what we have this is the home page and let's come put to the shop page so if i click here and this is how the shop page is going to look like so these are the products which I have hard coded right this moment, but we're going to call all these dynamically. So here we have this category section. So we're going to design our data model into our API in such a way when someone click on this in this I watch all the product related to watch will display here on categories TV. So that's all we're going to design our data model in that way. And I have also built the product single product page. So as you can see, we have this nice animation effect. So let's click on this. And this is how the single product page is going to look like. Here we have the name of the product and we're going to display dynamically for each of the product. This is the animation effect. These are the effects we have created. And this is from here we can like and we can add to our card and we can share it from here, which we're going to generate the link of this product dynamically and category and here we have the tab so this is how the tab is look like so this is the general description then here are some basic information of this product we're going to display dynamically so on the tab options and here user can send their review so they can click and they can give the name and review and they can post so here are some review sections and we can also add this plus so if someone's like someone's review they can click here and they can give this like so for this marketplace we are building our applications our api so hope you will find a lot of things so let's come back to our our visual code studio and let me let me close this one because we don't need this public folder this html for right now once we complete our complete api then we'll come back to this sections and we'll add the data dynamically so that's it for the complete overview of this project so hope you have complete understanding that what you're going to build exactly in this entire api development course and once we develop the api i'll make another tutorial where i will show you that how you can build this template so build this complete html templates so that's the that's the second part of this course so first we'll focus on the api then we'll move to the template so now let's move to the next video where we will cover that what are the basic requirements you need to have to build this api so let's move to that video